Today, we'll be having nodal analysis involving RLC circuit. Okay, solve for the nodal voltages. So first, we need to get the number of nodes. So we have one, two, three. So we have three nodes, but the third node is the reference node and connected to the ground. So we don't need to solve for it. We just needed to get the values of the nodal voltages at node 1 and node 2. Okay, we have a current source of 3 bar 0 degrees, voltage source of 10 bar 45 degrees, impedances, so we have resistances of 4 ohms, reactances of negative J3 for the capacitor, J6 for the inductor, 12 ohms, so another resistance. Okay, let's proceed with doing the analysis. Okay, as you can see here in our circuit, we have 10 bar 45 degrees, a voltage source, okay, which is in between two non-reference nodes, right? Two non-reference nodes. So this means that this form a supernode. So node 1 and node 2 form a supernode. Okay, so next is we need to perform KCL at the supernode. So imagine we combine node 1 and node 2. So the branches that we need to deal with are this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So, okay, currents going in equal to currents going out, right, KCL. So we have current going in, we have 3, okay, 3 bar 0 degrees. Equal to currents going out, we have V1 minus 0 over negative J3. Okay. V2 minus 0, lower potential 0, over J6 plus V2 minus 0 over 12 ohms. Okay. You can see here. So, okay, we need to get the LCD. So, what I did is, so the LCD is 12. So, 3 over 1. So, to make it 12 times 12, 36, equal to, so, negative J3 to make it 12 times J4. J6 to make it 12. We need to multiply by negative J2, then 12 to make it 12 times 1. So, that's why we arrive at this equation. Okay. Simplifying, we have 36 equal to J4 V1 plus 1 minus J2 times V2. That is the equation 1. Okay, next. Okay. Next is bring back the voltage source which was taken out in our equation earlier, right? So here we have with this current direction, so V1 is equal to 10 bar 45 degrees plus V2. So that is our second equation. Okay. Hmm. So we can substitute this one okay, in equation 1. We have 36 equal to J4 V1 plus 1 minus J2 V2. That is our equation 1 in the previous slide. So... V1 substituted by 10 bar 45 degrees plus V2, okay, in the second line. So, okay, remember J4 is equal to 4 bar 90 degrees, or you can use your calculator if you want. So, we can multiply this too. So, resulting to 36 equal to 40 bar 135 degrees, okay. So, V2 times J4 is J4 V2. And then we distributed V2 in this 2. So we have V2 minus J2 V2. Okay, transposing this on the other side, we have 36 minus 40 bar 135 degrees equal to V2 plus J4 V2 minus J2 V2. So simplifying further, we have 36 minus 40 bar 135 degrees equal to V2 plus J2 V2. Okay. 
Okay. So we just factored out V2 here. So 1 plus G2 is equal to square root of 5 bar 63.43 degrees. Okay. It's better that you don't round it off when you're using your calcul. You can use your store function if you want. Okay. So V2 is equal to 36 minus 40 bar 135 degrees okay, divided by the isolated 1 plus J2 or square root of 5 bar 63.43 degrees. So V2 is equal to 31.41 bar negative 87.18 degrees. Okay, that is our nodal voltage 2. So we need to get V1. So we already know what is V2. So substituting V2 in equation 2. So this is our second equation, right? Upon application of KVL, right? So we have V1 equal to 10 bar 45 degrees plus V2. So we have here 10 bar 45 degrees plus 31.4085 bar negative 87.1838 degrees. So resulting to 25.78 bar negative 70.48 degrees. So that is our V1. Okay, so as a summary, this is our resulting nodal voltages. We have 25.7812 bar negative 70.4802 degrees and uh, nodal voltage 2, node, nodal voltage 2 or V2, we have 31.4085 bar negative 87.1838 degrees. Okay, that's it.